Yeah, more or less, it's just a chill out right today in the lovely Lake District. Uh -huh. Keel the forest. Oh, <laughs> not the latest Keel the forest. I told you I was unwell. <laughs> right, guys, I've decided just to whack the camera on now. We're just, as I said, going to record the day. Good buddy Gordy. Out on a nice chill out ride. There's the bridge. Right, it's got to be this way, hasn't it? Right, lovely viewers. So uh, we're on the trail proper now. Oh, a little hot. Just got Gordon pulling his tights up there, his underlayers, his, his uh, Honestly, so what are them bits that clip to the sides? <laughs> suspenders. <laughs> uh, he's left his suspenders in the house. Right guys, we're rolling in to our very first mountain bike trail. Here we go, right, so I'm figuring this should lead us mainly on a downward path uh, all the way back to to the car park so that'll be good right everybody uh, so we were up there before near where I don't know if you can see from here but that uh, that mast is or whatever and we come bombing all the way down here uh, off like a fire road and it turns out we've headed the wrong way right guys I know there'll be rain on the lens or not um, it's turned into a pretty serious situation we're just crossing the border back into Northumberland. I've cranked it for about the last six miles. Thank God I've got an e-bike. Right, catching a bit. Mate, I am fucking beat. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new as always, just welcome. I'm here with my best bud Gordy behind the camera. Um, we're just come for a proper chill out day. I've been really unwell. Um, haven't managed to get out on the bike as much as I quite like. But yeah, we're just going to go for a bit of a fitness ride. There will be some downhill involved and whatnot, but yeah, more or less, it's just a chill out right today in the lovely Lake District. Uh -huh. Keel the forest. Oh, <laughs> not the Lake District, Keel the forest. I told you I was unwell. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I'm going to keep it quite brief there. Uh, we'll just get uh, on the trails because we're fast about getting ready. So yeah, we'll see you when we're actually up there and we're going to record most of the day. Today for you, so. All right, see you later. Right guys, I've decided just to whack the camera on now. We're just, as I said, going to record the day. Good buddy Gordy. Out on a nice chill out ride. I've had a bit of a shit time of late, health-wise and stuff like that. So, uh, it's nice just to, sometimes you just need to take some time and just get out and of course, being on the bike. And with your boat is the best thing you can do. So, that's what we're doing today. Nice scenery. And uh, like I say, we'll find, I'm sure we'll find some downhill Put the camera on there as we get a lovely view of the lake. And we'll catch him Gordon. On his muggle machine. How beautiful is that, man? Look at that. Amazing. We'll turn at the view of the lake there. Wow, it's vast, isn't it? It is freezing today, though. Absolutely. I'm lovely and toasty, mate. All I can my fingers, that's what I feel. And I've obviously got a light enduro helmet on, <laughs> designed for airflow, which is not a good thing when the airflow and so is. Right, lovely viewers. So uh, we're on the trail proper now. It's called Bot Bushman's what? what? What's it called again? The trail? Well, it's to be something bush, anyway. I can't remember. Harry Bush, Mary's Gordon said. Uh, but yeah, so I thought I just had pop the camera on for five minutes and uh, do a little record. We'll let Gordy take over for a bit of visuals, and I can chat to you. There, how beautiful is this? Stunning. And just what I needed uh, to get back out on the bike. Uh, nothing too full fat because. I've got to say, um, obviously, I know Gordon infinitely well. He's my best mate. I've been mates with him for 30 years. I've watched his fitness. 
intently, obviously. Um, and considering how much he rides the bike, he has improved a lot. And he seems to have held on to uh, a bit of his fitness as well, even though he's not been on the bike too much. As you can hear, viewers, I've got the two stroke on the go there. Quite stuff in my eyes. He's such a girl, isn't he? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I was calling you a girl and then I nearly fell off. <laughs> Whoa, sis. Nearly lost the front end there, I did. Oh, a little hop. Oh, glad I put the camera on for this bit. Reel him in, we'll reel him in. <laughs> nice little section. Can he make the climb? Can he make it? Oh, oh, oh yeah. Whoa, back end drift there. Oh, this is more like trail riding, isn't it? This is more trail riding. Right, I think I'll save the camera there for now, guys. Till I come upon something else I can talk to you about or show you. All right, see you later. Right, guys, so I thought I'd just pop the camera on here. Uh, while we wait for Gordon to see his disappointment when he climbs this and then thinks, yeah, yeah. There'll be a flattening out and he comes to see this, so yeah, he shouldn't be too long behind us. Go on, mate, he flattens out after this bend. Go on. Oh, he's working hard, he's working really hard. Keep going, it's nice and flat on this bit. <laughs> <laughs> So we trick them viewers. It'll be calling me all sorts of names now behind us. Watching me just clamber up here with no issues. We just got Gordon pulling his tights up there. He's under layers. He's, he's uh, honestly. So one of them bits that clip to the sides. <laughs> suspenders. <laughs> uh, he's left his suspenders in that. Right, you lovely viewers. We're here about halfway. Uh, we're seven mile, seven mile in of a twelve mile ride. So yeah, we just had a little bit uh, lunch there. It's a bit blue, so I'm going to get me later on because I'm a bit cold, and we're going to crack on uh, back on the first of the bottom section. All right, see you later. Right, uh, viewers, just do a little one. I thought I'd uh, do a little technical information. So I've kept the bike on uh, automatic mode, so it just switches between what it wants. Uh, since we started today, uh, we've done seven mile. And I haven't even used a bar or a battery yet, so uh, I think that's pretty good. Seven mile of climbing as well. No, but it's not, not harsh climbing like not, I do when I'm... Not harsh climbing, yeah. say the golf or something, but there's only been, what, two or three little ten second bursts with that. That's right, and I haven't pushed the motor. It hasn't had to work hard, you know what I mean? So it's not juicing the battery. So yeah, it's going well. Uh, and that's your little update. Catch you in a bit. Right, everybody, uh, just waiting for a corn to come up this climb, which is a bit steep. So I thought I'd just do a bit of narration, a bit of camera practice with you guys. Uh, have a look at the lovely bike. I still, honestly, I adore that bike. It's, it's unreal. I know it's not set up how I want it yet and whatnot and teething issues, but uh, on the whole, it's just mega. I mean, this is not a it's natural environment, you know, uh, out doing <laughs> an XC ride. Uh, but it just goes to show it, it's comfortable enough, you know what I mean, that you can actually do that. I have replaced the seat. Um, it came with a Physic seat, which was nice and wide, but really uncomfortable. So I bought the uh, WT Volt, because everybody says, well, rate and say that they're, they're all uh, probably the most comfortable seat, but I got it second hand and I'm not sure if this is maybe the kid size or something, it feels a bit small. It is comfier, but still not comfortable comfortable uh so yeah but the bike in itself it is doing well i lost an end cap off that wheel uh in glentreth got that replaced now 
there and yeah she's just bombing along like a gun now the only thing i would say is uh, obviously the app everybody knows that's got the interface x app from yamaha <coughs> excuse me uh that it's really rubbish i haven't man managed to integrate any phone i've tried with it yet uh so yeah well, you just have to kind of monitor your battery usage and whatnot from what's uh what's on the screen there and high bike there wrap doesn't work either uh there is rumors that they're, they're building another one but who knows but it would be nice to be able to just go in and see the detail about you know what power what the bike's doing how many miles it's done etc 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 um but at the minute that's not an option i have so yeah we're uh we're loving the bike essentially having a nice day out clear the lungs my chest is really really bad had some kind of bug or something or other but yeah food for the soul i mean i'll just give you a little pan around there i know we're not in the best spot but absolutely beautiful absolutely stunning these are the memories you know when you if your life does flash before your eyes when you go these are the stuff that i want to remember and hopefully i'll put in there and see it in there uh, for the future but yeah, uh, talking to people dying, there'll be somebody coming up this hill in a minute named Gordon, and he will be dying. He'll be, he's been complaining about his heart rate. Oh, just right on cue there, the panting man. Here he comes, making my toes get cold and everything. So yeah, nice little chat to use. Nice looking not too dirty. All good in the hood. So yeah, I will... Uh, I was going to sign off there, but no. Actually, I will sign off there. And we'll, uh, we'll help Cody with it. So, after stopping at that clearing, we've we'll come through a little bit and we're back in the, the forest proper now. So, I want to just give you a little look at how beautiful it is. Gordon's legs are getting a bit weary now, bless him. He's done a lot of climbing today. We've done, we're up to about eight mile now, so... Uh, Hopefully he gets a bit of downhill soon to give his little legs a rest. But yeah, we're loving the day. Just nice to be out. I know it's not the usual fare for you viewers, but you know, you just have to put up with it. What it is until I'm I'm going manic down a hill somewhere again very shortly. Do not worry about that. Uh, so yeah, just loving being out in the countryside. Oh, we've got a marker coming up here. Could this be for an actual trail? Whoa, there's snow, Gordon. Snow on the ground, look. To your left and right, there was snow just there. Right, so what's this we've got here, viewers? Let's have a little pause here. I'm going to itch my foot again. It's really itchy, so it's just a caution. Oh, I'm proper itchy. It's right on the bone. Oh. You think this could be the start of some downhill? It's looking downy ish. Please dismount if they're wet. Take the time down there, mate. There is. Right viewers, so we're going to uh, head down this bit now. Uh, obviously you see the snow there. There is chicken wire on this trail, on the, on the boardwalk, so it should help a bit. I'm going to go first, Cody's a bit tired. Uh, I'll not set it away, set it away, because I don't know what's going on. I will put my seat down though. Let's see, corner. Ah, it's grippy mate, it's alright. Oh, this is mint! Woo! Oh, that's skinny.
So I guess this is what you'd call a like a North Shore kind of thing. Not ridden much on anything like this, mate, to be honest. So it's quite nice. Right through the middle of the forest. Buffeting there. Oh, it's been such a lovely relaxing day. Not so much rewarding, I suspect, but I know he's enjoyed himself and he's working hard to improve his fitness, bless him, because he can't afford an e bike. Um, so by the time he's putting the work in now, for about the time we come to the summer, you know, he's not uh, getting left behind in groups and stuff. And I've got to say, uh, on a personal note, I've, I'm watching his development and he's come along a lot uh, in the last six months. Oh, he's right behind us, I didn't realise that. Just, just talking about him there, so it's a good job I was saying nice things. <laughs> Yeah. But as I was saying, yeah, he's uh, he's improved a lot uh, on both his fitness and his, his downhill riding. Uh, I think confidence in some areas is still uh, potentially a bit of an issue for him. But he's uh, he's definitely getting faster down the hills, and you know uh, he's taking on obstacles and things like that and and whatnot instead of sort of going round them when he's on a trail, which is what he needs to do taking the direct line so we're all happy with his improvement just need to keep him on the bike and not building fireplaces all right i'm gonna sign off here for a bit guys save the camera because there's not much going on here uh, so we'll see you in a little while right guys we're rolling in to our very first mountain bike trail here we go, red. So I'm figuring this should lead us mainly on a downward path uh, all the way back to to the car park. So that'll be good. So we will pause here for Gordy. It's getting chilly now, matey. Yeah. <laughs> Chocolate, a half a sandwich. Yeah, a bit of chocolate. Oh my god! We're nearly 10 miles in. I left it up uphill. Some of it's too steep to get up for me. Some of it's just that awful gradual stuff that never stops. But we finally, finally found the first trailhead. <laughs> right, viewers. Uh... We'll let Cody set off first for this little bit, see what happens. You can let me go first. Yep. I'll be pretty sure here. It's alright if it gets to going downhill, I'll uh, I'll just uh, I'll come by. Oh it's a cup of tea time, I think like. Right, you lovely people. Uh, as you'll see, I'm by myself. I had to do a battery change. I hope I've just flung all my memory cards out there. I'll just double check. Uh, yeah, so I've had to stop and do a, a battery change. So Gordy's away up the road there. But we'll catch him in no time once I've got this on. It's definitely getting cold now. Uh, it's been a nice day. I definitely feel a benefit it is. Health wise, for sure. Uh, get some fresh air in the old lungs in that there. Right, 
Here we go, mission catch Cody. this kind of ground this is where I feel the bike is not supple enough feels very chattery Tires are quite hard on that bike, I guess, so. But a lot of people have, well, a few videos I've watched. Um, one guy says, which I'm experiencing, the return rate of the rear shock is, is really seems quite quick. What the fuck? Instructions in the trail. Right. <coughs> Can definitely feel the lungs and energy levels are not what they normally would be. from this cold or whatever it is I've had. I don't think it was cold but I tested for it. But it's like uh, I've been hacking up for like a week and a half. Oh, there he is. What's up? Fucking drain that I'm just I've got no coordination. Just this take a minute then. A just take a minute. Trying to come through there, man. I was tripping. <laughs> ah yes. It's nice and all for a countryside ride, <laughs> but it's it's not our kind of thing. But as you said, a fitness ride and that. So it's, it's served its purpose because you push yourself. Yeah, I mean, I am still enjoying myself, but it's just not. Like, you know, you've climbed mainly most of the way, Gordon. We'll do like a 40 minute climb, and then you get a reward. Maybe do a 30 minute climb, you get a reward. Yes. Ah, it wears you down. This is what I felt like that day when I told you I was in Hampstead with Jack yeah. on the downhill bike and I basically pushed that bike for 14 mile you know and I'd done downhill for about two minutes I was sick of my life nah I imagine we've got to come across some because we've elevated so we'll have to descend I can tell I was just, uh, well I'm still speaking to the camera now, but uh, I was just saying there that uh, I can feel how much, when I push there to catch up, how much my lungs and that have been affected by whatever's been going on, because yeah. I'm getting gassed quickly. Yeah. Ah, you pushed a bit hard. Up, 
Yeah. It does keep climbing, doesn't it? Anyway, we'll get a video out of it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. We've got a good laugh for the main part. You need to get you on that little skills bit, get you jumping and whooping, and you'll be back there. You'll find some energy again. <laughs> That's just fun. It's good as practicing my slow speed control behind you. Oh, you're absolutely fine, maybe. I'm enjoying your pain. <laughs> Aye. No, it, like I say, it's it's good to sometimes get off the bike and walk because your legs are want to get they're not in that position all the time, uh, which is strain on your thighs. Hence why you got cramped the last time. Oh, mate, I think it's going to start going down. It's starting to feel that way. Yeah. Just give yourself plenty of time to recover. I, I, that's what I was uh, saying to the camera there, uh, which actually, hang on, I'm going to kill the camera first, guys. I'll just, I've been running for a while there. Uh, I'm just going to save the camera to find a bit of action.